Good morning. Bo, please read the problem, and Billy, please translate. Flippin' physics. Kate, Geneve, and Ryan all push on the door as shown in the figure. Assuming the hinge is the axis of rotation of the door, determine the net torque caused by these three forces. Net torque equals question mark. Billy, I, I bet you can glean some information from the illustration. Yeah, um, so force from Kate equals 210 newtons. Force from Geneve equals 170 newtons. Force from Ryan equals 160 newtons. Torque equals the R vector times force times the sine of theta, the angle between the direction of the R vector and the direction of the force vector. So we can determine the R vectors and the angles. Right, so... R for Ryan is 0.74 meters. R for Geneve is 0.37 meters. R for Kate is zero? Yeah, it has to be zero. Theta for Ryan is 90 minus 35 or 55 degrees. Theta for Geneve is 90 plus 25 or 115 degrees. And theta for Kate is 45 degrees? Actually, the angle for Kate is undefined. The R for Kate is zero, and therefore has no direction. Therefore, we cannot define Kate's theta. Now, I know this example is a bit silly. I mean, three people are not going to all push on a door like this at the same time, right? For the furthering of your physics knowledge, my family was willing to. <laughs> Bobby, please solve for the magnitudes of all three torques. We already have the equation for torque, so we just substitute in the variables for each person's torque. Ryan's torque equals 0 0.74 times 160 times the sine of 55, which is 96.9876 newton meters. Uh, Geneve's torque equals 0 0.37 times 170 times the sine of 115, which equals 57.0068 newton meters. Uh, Kate's torque equals 0 times 210 times the sine of... Oh, yeah, that's right. It doesn't, it's undefined and it doesn't matter anyway because uh, we're multiplying by an R of 0, so Kate's torque works out to be 0. Uh, therefore, the net torque equals the sum of those three torques, uh, which works out to be 153.9944, or 115 newton meters with two significant digits. Uh, wait a second. Uh, we forgot the right hand rule. Oh no, we, we were too cool. Okay, people, let's limber up. Uh. Oh, and find your right hand. Okay. For Ryan's torque, we start with the fingers of my right hand at the axis of rotation. Uh, point my fingers toward Ryan's force and curl my fingers in the direction of Ryan's force and, and stick out my thumb. My thumb points out from the illustration, which is counterclockwise from where you are, so that, that's positive. Ryan's torque is positive. Uh, for Geneve's torque, Starting at the axis of rotation and pointing my fingers toward Geneve's force, my fingers curl with the force and then stick out my thumb, which points in from the illustration, which is uh, clockwise from your vantage point and uh, negative. Kate's torque is zero, so it does not have a direction. The net torque is then Kate's torque minus Geneve's torque plus Ryan's torque. That equals 39.9808, or 40 newton meters, but we need that with two significant figures, so 4.0 times 10 to the first newton meters with two significant figures. That is correct. Please remember, do not be too cool for the right-hand rule. Limber up and include the direction of torque because torque is a vector. Our answer for net torque is positive, which means the door would angularly accelerate out of the board or counterclockwise from your viewpoint. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you. <laughs>